Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com, and today we are looking at how to install and open the brand new product from MotionVFX, Timelines. Timelines will be located in M Installer once you have made that purchase, and you can see them here at the top because I just got these, or you can go under My Products and select Timelines. To install, simply click the install button on whichever timeline you would like to install. And once they have installed, you will then be presented with the button open in FCP. Now you can see that all of these are going to have a BPM attached. If you don't know what BPM stands for, that stands for beats per minute. And that is how music is timed out. So if you're working with, let's say, a 100 BPM song, you can use that. Or you can use a song with a 50 BPM or a 200 BPM, as long as it's some sort of multiple of that number value. All right, so if you would like to open any of these, simply click Open in FCP, and then you will be presented with the option for your aspect ratio, as well as your frame rate. This is really, really useful as a lot of people in different parts of the world may be using different frame rates. Now, currently we do have it preset to 24. However, if you would like to make a change, you can go to your settings, and you can see Motion Template's default frame rate. This is also going to apply to your Final Cut Pro default rate. So why don't we just change this to 2398 as an example. And then when we click Open in FCP, you can see that 2398 is now our default setting. You do have the option, however, for 24, 2398, 25, 2997, 30, 50, 5994, and 60. So let's go ahead and click run on this 16 by nine aspect ratio. And it is going to automatically open Final Cut. Then you're going to select which library you would like to open this project in. Now you can see under Timeline Tutorials Library, I have two of these currently installed. And you can see that the 2398 frames per second is going to be attached there so you know which project you're looking at. As well as over in your notes, you are going to see that this is 2398, but you can also see that this is 100 BPM for this specific timeline. Simply double click to open. And you are also going to notice that in these cuts, there is a solid custom generator beneath with all of the markers where cuts can be placed as well as your BPM. Thank you for checking out this quick tutorial on how to open timelines of the brand new product from motionvfx.com. Be sure to check out all of our other tutorials and we'll see you on the next one.